Here's the final part of it. This is the uh, dummy load complete. This is the vent I was talking about. So that uh, if it boils, you can uh, get, uh, let off the pressure here so it won't build up and, and explode. Put a thermometer on it. It's got a little, this little thermometer plugs into a little rubber grommet, a little rubber, um, yeah, a little rubber feed through. So it's reasonably sealed. It's still pretty hot from uh, way back when, and see, it's uh, wow, it's, it's, it's after midnight. Actually, again, that's an hour, we're an hour earlier, but I think we started according to that one about 9.45, I don't remember. Anyway, there it is, still hot. So water holds the heat quite a long time, and it's extremely accurate. I'm driving a little Dynaco here at 50 watts. There's its actual voltage across the load. There's its power. So 20 volt, 20 squared divided by about 8 is 50. So we run this thing up to exactly 20. Well, let's see if we can watch both of them at the same time. Yeah. See, watch when I hit 20. See, it hits 50. I mean, it's 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 smack on. 20 squared, 400 divided by 8 is 50. And the reason I'm comparing the two, because see, this can, you program this to whatever you want. I could say clear uh, 19.004, that would be for a 4 ohm load. Well, I didn't do it right. Clear 19.004 special. If I did it that way, see, I'd be getting 100 watts, which is incorrect, of course. God, clear 19.008 special. There it is. Now it's for 8 ohms, and there it is. It's exactly, it's dead on. I've had this thing running into it for a while, and it's not heating up. Not that I can tell. So it looks like you can run uh, 50 watts into the darn thing forever. So there it is. I had to put me a high voltage sign on it, of course. Up at a kilowatt level, it is. Uh, it, it will have a hundred volts across it.